Hi guys, I wanted to pop in really quick um, because I have kind of like a really interesting topic to talk about for you guys. So I have a old client who is actually one of the first people that took um, the fertility formula um, when I did it live and was just starting off and everyone else who took the course around her actually are holding their babies now. So I actually think about this um, special person often and am always like super hopeful for her and always wondering like, why? Why hasn't it fucking happened? Because this woman is amazing and she is doing everything fucking quote unquote right and when I say that I mean it like she does like she's had the testing she's done the hard work she's done the study she's actually um knows one of the top functional medicine nurse practitioners I would say on the circuit right now um and obviously she knows me, <laughs> but she knows, right? Like she's in the thick of it. And she messaged me the other day, which just by the way, I love hearing from everyone who either I have a relationship with you or not. I love to hear um, your success stories, how you're getting on, your questions, your concerns. Right now I have the space to really, um, for the most part, give everyone the deserved uh, response back. Um, there is going to be a time in my life where I can't do that because my mission is really big. I want to inspire millions to become the conscious mom as they were born to be. So for right now, I am loving it that I do have this time and I want to make a special um you know, episode, um, not only for her, but um, for you guys, because it's all about mind sharing, right? Like this information I know is going to be helpful for a lot more um, people. So let's get back to her email. And um, she's like, hey, just to let you know, I just had another operation and they found like stage four endo, like silent, have, have like literally no um symptoms of it and uh obviously they said this could definitely be hindering my chances of success a hundred percent it was fucking all over the place and I remember I think maybe six months ago maybe a little bit more she had a another procedure that they found some stuff and they took away and so it's like what the fuck is going on when you are doing everything here on earth physically right and I would even say to a certain extent on her mental and emotional well-being she's doing things to support that and so I took about 24 hours to kind of like meditate and like really get some clarity on like why why the fuck does this shit happen right so my top three things that I came up with, I'm just going to pull the Band-Aid off with the first one because it's like the most uncomfortable one is that just shit happens. Here's a shit sandwich. This is what it is. There, uh, for some reason, uh, we cannot figure out on a medical, physical, spiritual, whatever level of why this is the way it is. And I think these people are definitely outliers um, and um, it just fucking sucks, period. Um, I have had another client um, be one of these people and she literally did everything mentally, emotionally, physically, um, used IVF, um, the whole nine yards. And there's no good explanation of why she can't um, carry another child because she actually has one child already. So that one, let's get that one out of the way because it's just crap. The second thing is going back to my talk about new confessions of a health coach, me feeling like I've done everything right, even taking more steps to improve my health because I maybe got back into a little bit of drinking and like eating nightshades and all that stuff and my health still not improving and um, needing um, some guidance and some awareness that my my environment that I literally have no control over was causing these issues or contributing to them at least. And so being able to get that guidance, which um, I'll link in the, the section if you missed it on Instagram or even TikTok, 
I, that morning I went to the beach to literally surrender. I ended up videoing me walking into the ocean. It's raining and um, getting off and sitting there, all, getting out and then sitting on the beach and like it coming to me, like, go, go to this specific location. This isn't your norm. Just go. And then this woman was there and I found my, my support. Right. So sometimes we're like holding on so hard and I was going to do this and I was going to do that and all this stuff. And it was just like, I let my mind just be silent for a while and the guidance came in and I got what I needed. So that could definitely be some, some hidden factor there. Um, and what I would say about that, if you're, you're not able, you know, because like, even when you come to me and my coaching and stuff, like, um, you know, there's going to be a certain point where I don't know, right? Not everyone has the answers. So even when you're not getting the support and your, the guidance, like from your fertility doctor, from your health coach, from your acupuncturist, it you have to go within and you have to an, a, ask these questions and get the guidance from a source that is like above us all, right? Right. You know, I'm woo-woo as shit on here. If you're just like joining us now, this is a recording for my community and I always share them on my podcast um, and welcome. <laughs> um, so that is definitely a second thing that could be happening. The third thing in which I really, truly hope it is because it, there are ways out of it is the subconscious belief and um, those subconscious beliefs hindering your physical body from doing what you want it to do or even contributing to the physical elements that you're you're experiencing. So if you are literally doing every single thing right, this is your next area. And you have to be willing and open. And I think most people who are here are willing, right? Like I was willing to try anything. Give me a voodoo doctor, sign me up, I will try it. And if this was in my realm when I was dealing with fertility issues, I absolutely would have tapped into it. And I'm excited that I have this now because it's even just pushing me more to be more of the conscious mama that I that I want to be. And that's my hope for you too. Um, so it's really tapping into that mental and emotional awareness and um, discovering those limiting beliefs that could be helping or contributing to triggering these elements that aren't physically being produced like by like toxins and by your diet and by that kind of stuff. It does happen. I know you might think I'm actually fucking off my rocker, but that's what it is. Um and so, like I said before in my last rant last week, I am building a section of the core uh, for the course around Joe Dispenza, Bruce Lipton, and Site K. And this is where you're going to get this information and tap into it. Um, and the other thing, too, with these modalities is that you can tap in and start really changing. Um, the expressions of your genetics with your thoughts. So let's just take this Indo thing for an ex example. Um, you you literally start telling your body you don't have Indo. And it's like a little bit more complicated like that, but like that's basically what you're going to be doing. And so instead of like focusing your um, like your, your like thoughts around um, I have Indo, you're going to start focusing your thoughts about, I don't have endo and my body is safe to heal. And this is why it's, Site K is one of like the coolest modalities that I have found because you literally ask yourself if you believe, okay, like just simple example, um, um, you flip it into a positive statement, but let's just say that you you subconsciously do not believe that your body can heal. Or you don't believe that you're worthy to be a mother. So your body is like literally coming up with these elements to hinder you from that belief. And usually there's layers to this, right? Like it, I know I'm making it sound a little bit too simple and fucking crazy, but that's what we are here. Um, you tap into, okay, let's test. And you say a positive statement. Um, I believe my body can heal. I believe my body can carry a healthy child. I believe um, I'm worthy of being a mom. 
and you literally test these statements to see if your subconscious mind believe the believe these things or not and if they do great we start exploring other areas if they don't then that's when we tap in and reverse that subconscious belief um and this is like a journey right um i don't believe in like elevation like a journey like oh the more you do meditation or the more you do this the higher you get like i don't know like a, the journey is like up down up like level right and so um it's really finding those modalities that you super connect with and you keep going with them and they build and build and build and build um so I hope that's, this has been helpful if you guys have any questions and I promise, I promise I'm going to say it out loud that I'm going to do this part of the course within a week. So you guys um, have my commitment and it will be up and for everyone listening to this on the podcast, because this comes out, this is going to come out like a year a year after I've done this in the community. Um, and if you guys are like, wow, what is this crazy shit? Even though I'm I'm sure I've been talking about it on social media, come in, discover it. It's amazing. It's going to change lives radically. Okay, have a beautiful day. 